Hey everyone, my name is Jenny Mann. I am a solution architect at UiPath. This video was put together to enter the 2023 UiPath Hackathon, along with another video in this channel. Feel free to check that out as well. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Here's my team, me and my dog Boba, for critical moral support. I personally have friends who are on the spectrum, and I also have a clinical psychology degree, so I'm especially interested in leveraging technology to make an impact in this space. One of the major challenges that people on the spectrum face is understanding hidden meanings below the surface level when engaging in conversations. In the American culture especially, sarcasm is in our day-to-day -day language, but often our autistic friends have a hard time grasping sarcasm and other similar hidden meanings in language. They would often take these too literally and miss the true meanings in conversations because their brains are wired a little bit differently. I believe ChatGPT is in a unique position to help with this specific issue, and UiPath is in a unique position to help execute what ChatGPT can theoretically accomplish. My idea is we can create an assistant for our autistic friends where whenever they're confused about a conversation, they can just ask the person to repeat what they said, and our little assistant can listen in, convert the speech to text, feed the text to ChatGPT via the OpenAI API, get a concise explanation of the true meaning of the conversation, convert the text back to speech, and tell it to the user. All of this can happen within seconds, as you will see. A few more details here. Our target users for this project are people with Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD. We're using UiPath Studio, Attendant Robot, OpenAI API, and OpenAI UiPath Connector developed by UiPath. Benefits help people with ASD to better understand hidden meanings in conversations more easily by empowering them with a digital assistant. Let us now watch a quick demo. In this demo, we're going to go through these examples or test cases, which are all quotes with hidden meanings that are typically difficult for an autistic person to understand correctly. Many of these mean opposite from their literal meanings. ChatGPT does surprisingly well in deciphering these sarcastic statements. Let's start the automation. Now in the background, what the bot is doing now is going to the site on the left You'll click the audio button, and then I'll say something, one of those test case quotes. It poured cats and dogs the day when I left my umbrella at home. That's just what I needed today. Now in the background, the bot is converting my speech just now into text, and then passing the text along with a prompt to open AI which will spit out a response that the bot will enter into the tool on the right side of the screen. When it's done, you'll click play to convert that text to speech. The speaker meant that it was unfortunate that they didn't bring their umbrella on a day of heavy rain because it made their day difficult. The expression poured cats and dogs means that it rained heavily. Our message box comes up and asks if we want help with another conversation, which we click yes and move on to our second example. I work 40 hours a week for me to be this poor. Now the bot is transcribing that into text. The speaker is expressing that they work full-time but are still struggling financially. They feel that despite putting in a lot of hours at work, they are not seeing the financial rewards they expected. We'll do this two more times to show all four of our examples. I told you not to ride on a broken bike. Now you're hurt. Well, what a surprise.
The speaker is expressing their frustration towards the person who got hurt while riding a broken bike despite being warned not to. They believe that the person getting hurt is not surprising given their disregard for the warning. All right, last one. This next one is a really hard one. Nice perfume. How long do you marinate in it? The speaker is suggesting that someone may have applied too much perfume and is asking how long they plan to be immersed in the scent. This could be seen as a humorous way of saying that the perfume may be too strong or overpowering. That's not bad at all. Very good explanation. We'll click no on the message box now to end the automation. Let's have a quick break. Have you ever had a feeling that ads are reading your mind? It's because advertisers are constantly invading your cyberspace, looking through your internet history and getting hold of your most intimate data. Now you can get your privacy back with Surfshark VPN. It blocks invasive targeted ads and shields you from web trackers that gather your data. Additionally, it protects you from viruses, keeping you safe, and prevents your identity from getting stolen. But in my opinion, the best benefit is you can connect to other countries' networks to watch shows that you wouldn't otherwise have access to. You can also sign up for Netflix in a country with lower subscription fees, and that easily makes Surfshark pay for itself. For work, I actually had to use VPN once to overcome some restrictions in order to complete a work project. And regardless of how many devices you have, you just need one account to give all those devices access. And Surfshark is one of the cheapest out there. It's running a limited time promotion right now. If you use the link in the description box below, you'll receive an exclusive discount plus your first couple months free. And there's a money back guarantee if you're not happy for any reason. So give it a try and now let's get back to our learning. Now let's take a look at the solution. First of all, I'm putting everything in this loop so that if the user needs additional help with another conversation, the bot can keep iterating until the user is all set. Let's expand this while loop. In the loop, first of all, we're converting a speech to text. I'm just using a free tool online that converts speech to text. So I'm using UI automation, but of course we can also use various speech to text pre-built UI path activities available. For example, I saw there's a Google one, but it seems to require API credits, which is why I'm just using a free online tool for this proof of concept. After we have the text of the conversation, I put it in the string audio input variable, and I'm appending an additional line to it as the prompt. Basically, I'm just adding this the previous text is a quote from a speaker, explaining two sentences what the speaker truly means. I experimented with this a little bit. If I don't say two sentences in the prompt, the response can easily come back in like three paragraphs. So I want to make sure we're getting a concise response back from OpenAI. In the properties here, I can give additional context in the instruction field if needed. I can choose a model. Um, I just picked 3.5 because it's free, and we really don't need GPT-4 for this purpose since we're feeding in very specific context, and 3.5 is doing well enough. I can adjust other things like temperature, but I'm just going to use the defaults for everything. And lastly, I'm putting the top generated text into the string variable that we will use later. A note here is, in this case, I've decided to use this generate chat completion activity developed by UiPath, which I configured on the cloud through UiPath integration service. All I needed to do was select the connector, add the connection by adding the API key, uh, the success status here indicates that it's all connected. If I don't have an OpenAI API key, alternatively, I can also just use the UI automation to automate through the front end of the ChatGPT web page. Anyway, next, we got the text output from OpenAI. We're going to convert that back to speech so that our bot can tell the explanation verbally to the user. 
Of course, we can also make this a text response rather than an audio response if we want. We can make that an additional option for the user in the next iteration of this bot. But for now, it's going to use this other free tool to convert the text to speech. When done with this conversion, the bot is going to ask the user if they want help with another conversation. If yes, it'll start this all over again. If no, it'll break out of the loop. Now, what I've just shown you is just a proof of concept. There are a few things that we can do to improve the overall user experience and make this application truly production ready. And perhaps these can be included in the next iteration of this project. First, in practical reality, users aren't always going to be by their computer when they need this assistant. So we need a mobile app version of it. We can also consider using UiPath apps to put a front-end UI on top of this easily. Second, I just bootstrapped a few things together quickly to show a proof of concept. If we really want to make this a highly usable app, we should replace some of the UI automations in the workflow with native custom activities. For example, I've used some free web tools to do the speech to text and text to speech parts, but we can also use pre-built UiPath activities to carry those out. Finally, conversation is not just words, it's also tone, it's attitude, it's posture, it's nonverbal cues. And these are also the exact things that our autistic friends tend to need more help in understanding. UiPath can add value on this in another way, which is using its out-of-the-box ML package for sentiment analysis, which is open source from Facebook research, to help users understand the sentiment of a conversation. That's it. That's the idea. I've always felt that automation has much more to offer to do good and truly make an impact in the world if we can apply the technology in innovative ways. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for upcoming content on how to start or build a career in tech, how to automate using low code RPA, how to build real time low code data pipelines, and other tech content.